Hello guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. So it's currently 1114 and we're working with the number 17 of my tarot and angel card deck here. Um, and so I wanted to do clearings for anyone, Theta Healing uh, downloads and clearings for anyone who has something specific going on where we have that full moon coming up tomorrow. Not everybody can make the ritual at 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Uh, we will be doing that over Zoom, so if you can join us, it's $22, and then you will get the link. We're going to be doing Theta Healing, Akashic Records readings, lots of clearings, um, really tuning in to what it is that people need for the group. And then that will be over in my VIP membership group. So if you are a VIP member, then you'll have access to the replay through there. And then my next new moon ritual will actually be in my Facebook, private Facebook group for the membership. So whatever membership you choose, then you can join us live as well. So I'm going to pick a time that works for the group. So, um, then you'll also have the replay for that as well, which is awesome. So Today I'm just pulling up cards, um, and our cards always tell a little story. So also I have a new moon um, retreat on April 2nd as well, so if you'd like to join us in person for that, we would love to have you. These are great opportunities to get to know other people that are like-minded. We do lots of healings, activities, just connection work, etc. Okay? So right away I'm feeling a heaviness of breath and it feels like there's um, this need for celebration and it feels like um, asking yourself, why is it so hard for me to celebrate right now? And we know that in this full moon in Virgo, um, it's teaching us to ground, um, it's teaching us to appreciate, it's teaching us to go outside and get clean air, hopefully clean enough air meaning be near, near trees, be near the ocean, etc. An eight is telling us to take action with our mental health, with our mindset, right? So we don't want to feel negative anymore. And the restriction is that feeling of being stuck. When often there's just a feeling of being stuck in our mind, you know, there are lots of things that you could be grateful for. So why aren't you? So would you like to clear and release feeling this heaviness, this weight that either you're carrying or that you can't shed or you can't get closure on? On all four levels. So that's on a historical, a core level, a genetic level, and a past life. And let's replace that with trusting that you can forgive the other people involved in these situations, including yourself, so that you can have healthy dialogue with yourself moving forward, so when you are starting to feel a little bit of those feelings, you can learn to say positive things to and about yourself, and also, therefore, be kinder to others. Good. So just say yes to these and it'll be really helpful. I'm getting to focus less on what other people are doing and focus more on what you're doing. So that can be really a much like easier said than done in the Facebook world, in the Instagram world, on the YouTube channels, all of that stuff, right? How many likes are we getting? Are people following us? Um, are they sharing our posts? Things like that. Um, or why aren't these people more upset about these these heavy things that are going on in the world or you know why are people not responding to like my awesome offers if you're in business or why why do people not care about me right like how come nobody's reaching out to me <laughs> how come people aren't responding back to my text messages I texted them why aren't they texting me back right because you are allowed to take space for yourself you're allowed to take time for you so would you also like to let go of any of this tension or stress that you might be carrying around? It feels like on your back, other people's energies as well. And let's replace that with staying safe and also understanding that you can still enjoy life and be safe at the same time. Okay. Okay, and I'm getting that there's a lot of judgment as well. So if you'd like a card or a clearing, let me know what you have going on. Um, but when you're going and judging other people, 
how, like, how does that make you feel when you go and you judge other people? Does it make you feel good or does it make you feel bad? Simple question. Do you like judging people? Do you get off on um, putting other people down or looking at them in a negative light? Does that actually make you feel better about yourself? Because jealousy plays a large role in control as well for a lot of people. What's coming up for me, Natasha says. Okay, well, I'm feeling tension in my upper back, okay? And the upper back is often like the heart chakra, the throat chakra. And um, I feel like there's energy around this full moon where you have to speak to people or speak to situations that are bothering you. So it feels like there's a little bit of work there. Because if you don't speak your truth, if you don't say what's on your mind, that energy will just linger. And it's like sometimes we think it's like not worth saying to somebody because it could potentially hurt their feelings. Or we tend to go to how other people are going to react to us. And my encouragement here is watch this from the beginning because it'll all tie together. But the card typically like represents like to not wait to deal with things that are going on in your life because it will just build up. So that's the uncertainty is like we don't want to deal with something because we're not really sure what the outcome is going to be, right? So again, we have to shift and grow and move. So you might benefit from the full moon ritual I'm doing um, tomorrow if you're available for it. Uh, however, just if you can't join the membership group or join that, please make sure that you watch the YouTube video around the full moon, um, my full moon rituals, things like that. Um, I think that will be helpful for you. So would you like to clear and release feeling like you're putting things off that are actually really, really important for you to deal with and replace that with feeling like you can be more open and honest about your thoughts and emotions? <sighs> yeah. That feels good. Okay. I'm still hearing that there's judgment. So let me know if that relates to anybody watching, that, they're, that they judge other people. Because anybody that, that says that they don't judge other people is crazy. I don't naturally go towards, like, automatically judging people. When I first meet them, I'm not... I'm typically not like that. I see them in a positive light. Um, and now when I meet new people, I feel like I trust myself with what I'm feeling. So I go straight into the heart space, the intuition before the logical. But I absolutely go into my logical with people because that's how I learn. That's how I grow. So for anyone to say that they don't judge other people, you're probably lying because it's our human nature. We do it all the time, whether we realize it or not, conscious or unconscious. So, yeah, Natasha's not sharing. Um, but that's what I'm getting is that sometimes we put our defense mechanisms up when we don't want to change, when we don't want to grow. And when I do theta healing, which is what I'm doing right now, um, when we feel somebody's getting defensive or they don't want to like agree to an emotion or they don't want to let go of something, it typically means that they're actually about to have a breakthrough, that, that they're act we're actually getting somewhere. Because if it were easy to just change, we would all do it. We would just be all floating around, just changing all the time and just be, you know, flying high. It's not the case. We go through these uh, moon cycles to help us cleanse and it's not always comfortable, okay? So this card is encouraging you to have those breakthroughs so that you don't have to feel this heaviness, this weight on your shoulders anymore. And so if I relate this card to myself, swords, first of all, eight and two make 10. 10 signifies that there's an ending of some sort. All full moons tell us that we're letting go of something, right? What is ending in your life? So for me, um, going back into throat chakra work, I am speaking up. And it's the end of like being scared to tell people what I'm feeling. And I know some people that work with me think, I didn't know you were like that. 
And I'm like, well, when it comes to some of my intimate or personal relationships, I definitely relate to not wanting to, you know, upset people or, you know, create conflict. But that's the ending for me. I'm just kind of like, I'm going to be open and honest because I respect other people who are open and honest, right? That's part of knowing ourselves as well and being okay with who we are. So that's definitely an ending for me. I'd like to hear if you what your ending is. Um, for me, the Two of Swords is... is is just that it's kind of like I see the two of swords as kind of procrastinating on things that you know need to be addressed and for me um I wrote down what I what's been triggering me but for me hi Angela so let me know if any of this connects to you if you'd like if you have something going on or you'd like a card but as a theme with this um with these swords representing thinking or overthinking for me, I'm also realizing that life isn't always about everybody else and what they want. It's also about what you want in your life. So you have to be number one in your own personal life. You have to have goals and follow through with them. And if other people are kind of getting in your way when you're working on your goals, it's like, well, am I going to get off track or am I going to stay on track? And this is where boundaries come up with people. So another thing is I'm working on letting go of holding back, but I'm also working on uh, placing up those boundaries with people so people also know what I'm feeling, when I'm feeling it, so it doesn't build up, right? All kind of the same thing, but boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. So would you like to clear and release times in your life where you didn't have boundaries, or you didn't have healthy boundaries, and let's replace that with trusting that you can forgive yourself for not, I guess, doing the right things, we'll say. And also that you can transition with joy and ease when you are going through things in your life. Good, that feels good. So this is called Theta Healing. You just have to say yes to it. And then for me, the Eight of Swords, anyway, I'm just sharing because people aren't sharing. Um... If you're catching this on the replay, I'd still love to know uh, what you have going on. I'm getting really sad all of a sudden. So for me, I feel like I'm very, very sensitive to other people's energies. Um, so I feel this ending possible communication paths and letting go of my ex with the new moon, boundaries and forgiveness. I love that. That sounds fabulous. The boundaries part, Megan, absolutely. Because... The key thing is that we'll never stop learning about boundaries. Um, and sometimes our boundaries are like simple things like I have to eat breakfast every single day. That's like my non-negotiable. And if somebody, um, I don't know, is in the way of, of eat, me eating my breakfast, it's like I have to make sure that I still go get breakfast or do something about it if I'm traveling, right? But that's a pretty small circumstance. It's like, okay, my... It's really just establishing what your, to me, what I'm getting is to establish what your non-negotiables are. And when you know what those are, it's easier to understand where you are um, emotionally. And then you'll have boundaries around that. And as you clear and cleanse yourself of all of that stuff of where you are, we'll say a month from then, you're working on boundaries all over again because you had new things coming up, right? So... We don't want to be too hard on ourselves. We just want to clear and cleanse the energy. So Megan, would you like to let go of any communication um, that's unhealthy that you might be having or experiencing? Any energies that are unwanted around you? And let's replace that with feeling safe to have healthy communication and start working on your heart and your self-love practices. Good, and I'm getting happiness, joy, laughter. It's really important. So for me, this Eight of Swords um, is for me, representing, I think sometimes when we're used to doing things a certain way, um, it's hard to break the cycles. So for instance, for me, sometimes I spend um, 
Awesome Megan saying yes. So I'm sending that to you right now and everybody else that says yes to all of these. Um, and so for me, it's sometimes I spend too much time inside and in this full moon in Virgo, we have to be getting outside. It's just so important. So I did go to the beach a couple days ago and it was really nice. The weather is getting a bit warmer. So for me, the restriction is just kind of mental. Like you can get outside, you can go out and go for walks and do these things. So it's stop telling, stop telling yourself like that you can't when you can right? So that's something I'm working on as well. It's like, I can go out, I can do this. Um, so it's mental, right? So would you like to also let go of all the times where you told yourself you're, you can't instead of can and replace that with feeling open to changing in your own divine timing so that when you know it's time to change, you can just trust that that energy is going to start showing you things and supporting you emotionally at the same time okay good so this feels like way calmer that makes me feel really good so nobody else is asking for a card um so we're just going to integrate all of that energy that we said that we wanted to and allow all that new energy to come in that you agreed to. So you might want to go back to the beginning if you didn't listen from the start. Okay, and if you don't want those downloads, that's okay too. That's what I'm hearing, that there are some people like that don't want to integrate the energy and it's like, that's okay. Um, you have to be ready to change, that's the thing. And so... Um, the key thing is awareness. So when you're letting go of stuff, <clears throat> it's easier to let go of stuff when you understand why it's there, right? So that's where a one-on-one -on -one session might be a little bit better. My one-on-one -on -one sessions are one, 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 and so are in, or sorry, so are the online sessions. Um, so it doesn't matter um, how we're working with each other. We can do these things through distance as well, through the phone. And uh, I can even do things through email, which is great. Uh, so we're not limited that way. All right, I am going to take off. Have an awesome day, guys. Uh, so the ritual is tomorrow at 11 a.m. Then I have my membership groups. Please make sure you check those out. Then I have the new moon uh, ritual that will be coming up in our private Facebook group. And then on April 2nd, my new moon retreat here at the house from 2 until 5 p.m. So I'd love to see some of your faces. Bye for now.